Okay. All right, Jason. Let's go ahead and stand up and see what the functional assessment is, see what the functional mobility is. Okay. How does it feel when you get up? Oh, I'm very painful in my lower back. Okay. Can we take one lap around the table? Let's see, just go down until you start to feel the grab or the pinch. Right there. Okay, now come move back up. Okay. All right, let's lay down on your stomach. We'll start with that. All right, so uh, Jason, by the way, I want you to know that uh, these videos are highly edited. So if anything happens at any point that you don't like or that you don't want to be on a video, then just let me know. It's, it's not a big deal. And even though it's rolling right now, it's certainly not a live video. So anything that you say that you don't want, we can, I can go back and edit it out. Right there. This one? Yep. This one. Right there. Okay, one or two? Right there. Oh, that was it. Okay. There or there? Nope. L4. Okay, is there any pain when I push here? No. Here? No. on my hip. This one over here? Yeah. It doesn't hurt, but it's not pleasant. Okay. Alright, I'm going to come all the way down the SI joints here into the coccyx. Do you have any pain here? No. Tammy, you want to give the play-by-play -play on how it happened again? What's the narration? Um, he was picking up a shoe case, like a bookcase, mm -hmm. and he was standing with his feet facing the bookcase but was kind of sideways with the rest like his upper body and mm -hmm. when he picked it up it um he felt it his back go out he felt it i guess slip instant pain turn white what he found is Okay, gently lift this to the right, down, left, down. We've got a category three, it means we might have a little bit of a disc protrusion or bulging here in the lumbar spine.
Okay, so lift up your head. Just a little bit. Let me put some medicine there. Go ahead down. Nice soft breaths in your nose and out through your mouth. Yeah. Yep, right there. This, this is kind of the normal stuff, this one here and here. That happens a lot that I usually adjust. But it's exacerbated today. Because everything is on emergency mode. It's on lockdown. <laughs> so we're not locked in. It's fine. Okay, I found a couple things to adjust here today. Yep, that's it. Yeah. So this is the this is the uh, medial border of the scapula here. So this is some of the attachments of the rhomboid muscle. So we can go in here and let these muscles relax a little bit. Shoulders relax. Let your hips sink into the table. Let it all go. Breathe through your nose. All right, that was really good. Nice, deep release. So when I push into this one, you just want to come a little bit closer. That way you can just get right in on my hands. And like come like way close up, like really close up. There you go, just like that. Okay. But come from this angle here. All right, good breath there. And it's sinking it, let it all go. Let it sink, 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 sink. Good. Better. Feel it better. Mm -hmm. Except for the lower part. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're getting there.
lift your legs up. Just relax. Let me do all the lifting here. Whew. Do you have any tension when I push here? No. Here? No. All right, let's do this. Lay on your side, this side up. Face me over here. Breathe through your nose while you're moving. Good. Take your time, no rush. All right, let's do this. Undo your belt buckle for me here. These are these are nice elastic. Yeah, they are. Jeans here. <laughs> Okay, breathe softly. Good breath. Good, let your shoulders relax. Good, let your hips relax. Breathe your nose. Let's bring your swing your legs off the table and sit up. I'm right here if you need me. Alright, stand up and walk around the table one time and let that integrate into the spine. Okay, here goes. I want to, I want to compress the joint a little bit. Keep walking Go around like one more time, one and a half more times actually. And uh, when you get around to the bottom of the table, turn around and go the other way, so we can take some left hand turns too. The walking compresses the joints and helps squeeze them with the inflammation out of the area. And then when you get to that side of the table, you can sit down. Flop down to your side. This way. Uh, all right. Send me on the other side. Mm -hmm. All right. That was the that was the hard part. So the rest is just taking compensation and stress out of the spine. Felt so much better than what? The, the the one I did on the other side released the back pain, mm -hmm. and then this one just it didn't hurt like the previous adjustments. Mm -hmm. Previous adjustments hurt. Was uh, coming down to the bottom that yeah. one didn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. Swing your legs off the table. I'm here. That was a lot of crunches. <laughs> Actually take a deep breath without it hurting. Good. Okay, so we've reduced whatever protrusion was in there. So when you have pain with breathing or with sneezing, like you had mentioned, mm -hmm. that is indicative indicative of a space occupying lesion. Basically, what that means is that the disc is just pushing out a little bit, just like on the model right there. That red thing is sticking out. And so the disc pushes out and bulges, but it's flexible. And which means it can suck back. In. All joints in the body work like pumps. And so as long as the joint is functioning properly, it's pumping fluid in and out. But when it gets stuck, 
that fluid builds up, the pressure builds up, and a lot of that could be the source of the pain. So once we release that fixation, the motion continues, the pumping continues, and then you get relief from it. Plus you relieve the, the one in the, under, behind the shoulder blade too. Sure, and that's your primary. Yeah. Yeah, that mid back and upper back. All right, a couple more things. Let's take a let's take a couple laps, okay? Let's see. I can get it here if you want me to. Right. Oh, that was much better. Best one yet. All right, take that for a test drive. Oh, uh, look at the speed increase. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a huge difference. Go the other way one time too. Wow, I feel so different. Alright, have a seat there. Right where your thumb is, there's pain. This side over here. More than this side over here. Correct. Okay, yeah, tuck your, tuck your fingers in underneath. All right, Tammy, come a little bit closer. Okay, nice and gentle. Let your head just drop in. Shoulders drop. Felt that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to the other side. My least favorite part. What's that? My least favorite part. Mm -hmm. Neck. All right, let the head sink in. Shoulders sink. Good. That feels great. That was awesome. All right, here, before you stand up, you can, you can drink alcohol, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Shoot it back. Don't even want to know what it is before you take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking whiskey. <laughs> Didn't smell like whiskey, so. It wasn't whiskey. There, it's a tincture made with vodka, oh. and it's mostly catnip, which is a, oh. a nerve tonic. Catnip does the opposite for humans as what it does for cats. Oh. Um, so it's a sedative. It'll just help calm the nerves, yeah. help the muscles relax a little bit. All right, one more time. Let's get up. Oh, so much better. <laughs> You don't look like you're in pain anymore. Nope. You can go back to work now, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a heating topical. It has ginger and cayenne in it. So if you touch this at any point today, be careful not to touch your face or like when you're going to the bathroom. Because those tissues are sensitive and it will burn. What essential oil did you use up here? That essential oil is a mix of about 15 different oils. It is made by a friend of mine, and I'm pretty sure has a cauldron. And she <laughs> mixes these batches of medicines. And she actually gives me the ingredient list, but I cannot recreate <laughs> what she makes, even with the ingredients list and like following wow. the recipe. It comes out completely different. The smell is different and huh. everything's the same. She just has her own magic touch.
And she actually doesn't do it anymore. That's the last bottle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I only use it for acute low back pain patients hmm. at this point. This has about 30 different ingredients in it. And, uh, but the two main ones are the ginger and the cayenne. Okay. The capsaicin. Well, I like heat as a topical because it, it opens blood vessels. It brings more of the inflammatory factors into the area and allows them to leave when they're done. Uh, versus the biofreeze and the icy hot and those kinds of things, which are all cold. They use the menthol. They use all of the um, vasoconstrictive herbs. So it, it tightens up the blood vessels. But at this point, because this is less than 24 hours, we want pro-inflammatory. We want to increase the inflammation um, and increase the flow of the inflama inflammation. So inflammation is the healing process. We want to bring in the inflammatory factors and allow them to leave. So the vasodilation or the heating, the blood vessel opening is more conducive to that than to use a menthol or a cold. Hmm. Make sure you get up and continue walking around. Okay. Walking is going to be the best medicine for you for the rest of the day. Okay. Um, if it does go into any kind of acute spasm or if it gets any worse, I don't expect it to, you can put an ice pack on it. 20 minutes has to be the minimum. 20 minutes on every hour. That's the worst case scenario, okay? okay. And, got something? No. Are you waving at me? Uh, okay. No, you're, it said voicemail. I swiped it up so it would go uh, off the screen. <laughs> all right, so, um, do you have any turmeric left? 2,000 milligrams once a day should be plenty. You'll also do some vitamin C, 500 okay. milligrams a couple times today, three or four times today. I'll write all this stuff down for you. Do you have any magnesium? No. Mm -mm. No. Magnesium, 500 milligrams once. Vitamin C, 500 milligrams three or four times a day, as much as you can do it. Okay. And then the turmeric also one time today. And uh, that should bring you through. You should feel better within 24 hours. Give it a day. If Wednesday, it's not like, you know, you're not moving around functional, everyone's going back to work and stuff, I'd adjust you one more time this week if you need it, okay? Thank you. All right, do you have any other questions or anything? I'm not gonna shake your hands because I got the cayenne on it, but. <laughs> yeah.